Hello and welcome. My name is Juan Carlos Gamarra. I am the Ambassador of Peru to the United Kingdom. And today we continue with our series of Bicentennial Dialogues on Peruvian Contemporary Literature. I'm pleased to introduce the Peruvian writer Victoria Guerrero, who will talk to us about her work and the owners of the world no longer fear us. Victoria Guerrero Peirano is a Peruvian poet, teacher and feminist. She holds a PhD in literature from Boston University and a diploma in gender studies. Her poems have appeared in various na national and international magazines and anthologies and have been translated into German, English, French, Portuguese and Finnish. Her recent publications translated to English include the poetry book Diary of a Proletarian Seamstress, translated by Eleonora and Anastasia Spicer, and the chapbook and the owners of the world no longer fear us, translated by Anna Rosenwong. Her last works will be included in the anthology Temporary Archives, Poetry by Women of Latin America, by ARC Publications and Edge Hill University in the United Kingdom. Victoria won the Peruvian Literature Prize in 2020, and she currently lives in Lima and cares for her dog and cat. Thank you very much, Victoria, for being with us today, and please give us your lecture. Hello, my name is Victoria Guerrero. I am a Peruvian writer, and I was invited by the Embassy of Peru in the UK to present one of my work. I write poetry as prose, mostly poetry. My topics in poetry are about metaphors of the female body in relation to power, capitalism, and sicknesses. And also I can say there is certain nostalgic of the fall of some utopias in there. And my mainly influence in poetry is Peruvian writer Carmen Oye. She published it in 1981 this book, Noches de Adrenalina. And this book is uh, about a woman in front of the changes of her body. The language she used is strong and also philosophical because is a intellectual woman who live in Paris doing the cleaning in the middle of the 70s. But I also have other authors I like to, to read, mostly women. I like, for example, the poetry of Sylvia Plath, Emily Dickinson from the United States, from Russia, I love Anna Akhmatova and Marina Smetayeva, and from France, uh, I like the experimental work of Helen Sisu and Monique Wittig and other feminists in this country, or French uh, writers, and uh, also I use it uh, to read and teach the work of Virginia Woolf, for instance. Today I will read from this chapbook. The title is in, And the Owners of the World No Longer Fear Us. This is a anthology, a little anthology of some of my work in poetry. Uh, this was translated by Anna Rosenwurm and published by Carbor House Press. 
this editorial house is placed in the United States and make translations from uh, contemporary Latin American poets into English. This chat book was published in 2016 and I will read the poem The Red House. The Red House is a poem. I had a husband who went off to war. He brought things back, loaded treasures, among there, them a book by Anna, Anna Akhmatova. They were all in Russian. He spoke Russian. It was the times. Everyone wanted to join the guerrillas, write poems, make a movie, go to Moscow. I didn't do any of that. Well, sometimes I wrote poems, but I went to the United States, to New England, intensely guilty after all. On the streets of my childhood, the walls said, Yankees, go home. That was the slogan, the English broken, forced. I didn't wage war or learn Russian or make it to Moscow, but I read Anna Akhmatova. They spoke French in St. Petersburg city of squander and refinement. That's where the revolution began. That's where Roxana and I got lost in the subway station on our way to Dostoyevsky's house. The Cyrillic alphabet made me, made my head spin. Anna's family was persecuted, her husband executed. She spent hours waiting outside the jailhouse to visit her son in Leningrad. The same happened to Marina, Marina Svetayeva, children dead, husband deported. Now, I am writing a century later. Poetry is dead. My husband is dead. And the red house is full of things, objects of life and poetry. My English is absurd. And the owners of the world no longer fear us. Victoria, thank you very much for sharing your work with us and for helping us promote the Peruvian Bicentennial. We also hope to see you in a coming video. Thank you very much. <laughs>